It is time to replace the wreath on the front door. So we're making a really cute summer wreath. I'm using our hoop wreath, which comes with three pieces and you can use just one of them if you want. You don't have to use both of them. I painted them with white chalk paint and then I used meadow on the sides. So if you wanna paint with our chalk paste, you just add a little bit of water and it becomes like paint. I did put a link up above of everything I used from my store if you're interested. So once I got the meadow on, I then added cherry. So again, it was our chalk paste that I added water to. It's called cherry and I made a watermelon. How cute is it? <laughs> I think it's cute. So I finished off painting it and I did do two coats. Once it was dry, I did wax it. So you wanna wax it because I painted it and our transfers are sticky. So if you're going to use a transfer, it could pull up your paint if you don't wax it. The wax acts as a barrier between the transfer and your surface. I did tape it off using our tape so that I didn't go off and get my pattern on the green part. So this is the bandana part uh, pattern, and it's $23.57 on sale right now. If you're a Perks member, it's $16.50. I've made so many things with this transfer, you can tell it's all stained. <laughs> it's a really good one. If you want information on the Perks program, I am gonna put a link in the description. I then had to embellish it, so I added ants. I made some little ants. I glued three little black pom-poms together, I used automotive wire from the Dollar Tree. I cut them to two inches. I folded them in half. I put them in between a pom-pom. I twisted, I pinched them and then twisted them and pulled them to the, the wrong sides. And then since they have three legs on each side, I did have to double up one of those. And then for the antenna, I did it from the bottom up, did the same thing. I pinched it and then twisted it. And then I used my pliers to curly cue the antenna and fold up the feet a little bit. They came out really cute. They're kind of hard to see, but they came out really cute. I'm very happy with them. So there he is. I just kind of did slow motion for you. So then I made a bow using my bow dabra. Got my bow dabra on Amazon. And I'm using some ribbon that I got from Amazon a couple of years ago. I don't do a lot of bows with ribbon. If you guys watch me, I also don't do a lot of bright things, but I really like it for summer and spring. So I guess that's not true because look, I'm doing it. <laughs> so the bow dabber is very simple. If you don't have one, get one. It makes making bows so simple. I kind of embellish the bow with some pom-pom ribbon and some little red rickrack. And then I just tied it straight to the hoop, straight to the wreath, just tied it on there. And then I did fluff it up and I cut it down to size a little bit, cut the, the tail so that we could see my ants because, you know, they're important. You got to see them. So I cut it down a little bit and then I just glued the ants on, just glued them straight on there in different positions. I think it came out really cute. I'm very happy with it. It's on my front door and it says, hey, Summer. <laughs> Nothing says, hey, Summer, like watermelon and ants, does it? Let me know what you think. Hit that like button. Hit that sprinkle button for me. Make sure you're following me if you're not, and have a great day.